All right, uh, just got got back from a half day at work. This video has nothing to do with lawn care or anything like that, but for the past couple of years, I've spent basically everything just getting, oh, I had some hedge trimmers stolen too, so I lost my brand new articulating hedge trimmers. Uh, I don't know how much they were, six or $700, but that was a bummer. Uh, same day I realized that um, I was driving home and I saw this dirt bike. And I was like, damn, it looks pretty nice. So I guess it's a 2014, um, whatever, KLX 140. Um, seems pretty nice. It's got a lot of new stuff on it. I'm sure they beat the crap out of this bike. But, uh, you know, overall it seems pretty well. Everything works. Um, I know it's just like a little shitty, like, girl's bike, I guess. It's got an electric start. It don't even got a kickstart. Uh, my, my best friend had one of these bikes in, in high school, but... I mean, it starts starts right up. I just rode it around a bunch, um, so it's pretty cool. Does make me a little nervous spending spending any money before winter or, or on like a recreational item. But I think it's important to to get stuff. And with the the kids getting older, maybe my my wife will be able to ride this bike. She's about well, she's a little shorter than me. I'm, like five nine she's probably like five four or something five two or something like that so but and it came with uh came with this wheel came with this wheel i guess this is like a smaller back tire and uh looks looks fairly ridden and then uh this i guess this drops the rear so uh i don't i don't know i don't i don't need to drop the rear oh you can see the the grease coming through and then uh, I got another sprocket, a rear sprocket or whatever that is. Um, oh, and then there is, uh, uh, for the forks, I guess I, I, I do have the original dust covers that, you know, go up and down. And I guess he put, or this is the dust cover, or and one's a shield maybe, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it was, it was just super cool. There's an hour meter, it doesn't work. It looks like all this uh, all this electrical stuff is probably some, t some aftermarket or been put on. I'm sure this has been... <sighs> yeah, I mean, there's just no way you can tell me you've been riding with these. So, I don't know. Uh, oh, we got a little, little leak there or something. <sighs> I don't know, maybe not. So, uh, but everything else, the brakes work really good. It starts right up. We'll give it another go. Fires right up. I don't, I don't know. I had, um, I probably had like eight dirt bikes, but they were all just 1999 Honda XRs from the 50. We had the 50, 70, 80. I think there was like a hundred. There was a 150, I think. And then I had the, the 200. The 200 and the 50 are the ones that we kept for the, the longest time. Uh, they just stuck around. All the other bikes disappeared or got sold off or whatever my dad did with them. But, uh, so I was just, I just saw this, uh, at this guy's house the other day. There was like a dirt bike for sale for $300, but my wife keeps describing them as mini bikes. So I was like, oh, what the fuck? I don't want a mini bike. But there, I guess I talked to the dude. Same guy I bought this from. This one, he had it out for $1,800. Uh, I just pulled up, I offered him 1500 bucks, and I, I thought that was, like, what it's worth, um, just from looking up stuff online, but, I mean, overall, maybe the chain's, like, a little loose, I don't know, but, uh, oh, I don't have a kickstand, I don't know if this is Ben, or the kickstand's just missing, or, you know, I don't, I don't really know too much, too much about, uh, dirt bikes i guess this cover is nice it don't look like it's been put down too too much um i almost think it's been like repainted but you know i don't i don't really know it just doesn't look look like used enough for like how used it is but uh the dude works on his bikes i'm sure they beat the fuck out of this thing and then uh they had she, they had a brand new 140 with a big wheel kit there like brand new today and uh, the dude had a brand new, um, those fucking orange bikes, uh, KTM, brand new, like, KTM 500. All the kids had brand new Yamahas or whatever they had. 
Um, he, the dude lives literally right down the street. I walked back to go get it. So, but overall, pretty cool. Um, still a little uncomfortable with spending like the money on it. I know it's only fifteen hundred dollars. I, I'll go buy some hedge trimmers this week, and you know I won't even have a second thought. But everything I buy, you know, makes makes me money, and I use it to to work on the house. I got this fence going, so um, which I'm I'm almost like three grand into this fence alone. Still got a little, um, you know, put put one one extra panel down on some of the bottoms and then i think i'm gonna i'm gonna just put one extra board right here when i have time or extra money to go get the boards and then uh i already bought the door in the garage it's in the garage and it was like six hundred dollars so i'm getting ready to cut this out like this and then we'll be putting a back door here a little landing and then a walkway and then i think i'm gonna paver from about like right here back into this triangle and then uh the gate will be like right here and then the i'm gonna put up a little fence around our ac unit i'm gonna get rid of this thing i don't know what this is some sort of a some sort of a, a pump so I, I i don't know it seems like it's so I'm going to get rid of that little house. I'll probably use the forks to pick the roof up, put it in the trailer, and we'll use the just shovel everything into the bucket. So, but then I'll have this area pretty much cleaned up and uh, sold the stump grinder finally. So that thing, what a pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, so just, just an interesting time. Oh, I got the, changed up the pressure washer too. And the machine just chilling in the it's got like 30 hours on it now. I've been using it all the time. And uh, I've, since I've gotten the machine, I've noticed I'm at work less, but I'm still making the same, if not more money. So it's super nice. Uh, like we just moved 10 yards of ABC into this uh, backyard after we dug, dug the whole area out. And I mean, we have like a day involved in that with uh, packing everything, getting all the dirt out of the way, putting the, the 10 yards of base down, uh, I, I, I picked up six yards of that with the trailer. It didn't dump it. We had to take a little out, but there was a lot dumped. Uh, dumped the main majority of it was like on the tongue. I don't know why the loader does loader guy does it like that. But move the pressure washer on this pallet. Um, I really think I wanted to sell it. I put this online as it sits with all the wands, just everything like this for. I think it's up twenty seven hundred bucks. Um, so I haven't really gotten any hits. I did have this with the trailer for $3,700, which leaves me a little wiggle room, 35 and 25. 25 for this is what I wanted. I wanted $1,000 for the trailer, uh, but no one bought it. So uh, I'm probably just gonna keep it. I built it like this so I could put it into the bed. Um, the, I think the highest offer I got on this was like 800 bucks or something. And everybody's really angry that it's downstreams. Uh, with the soap loop instead of like a separate AR soft wash pump or something. But then I think to myself, like this machine gas tank battery, that whole setup's 3,200. This is a thousand bucks with the real stacking kit, all the hoses and the soap loop. Uh, and you know, whatever, all the, the stupid puddle suckers, you know, 125 bucks, whatever it costs to make that. And then, uh, so I don't really know what you're getting. Throw a soft wash system on here, and like it's it just doesn't seem to make sense to sell it for a thousand dollars. I was thinking about selling just the machine and then just piecing it all out, but with all the 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 trouble it is to try to sell anything like on marketplace, I just get so many fucking weirdos and shit. People wanting to trade me like broken trucks that just need one small thing, but they don't have the time to to do it or something. So. Um, and, and everything works fine. The, the pump has been great. I've never really had a, any issues from a, a general pump. Maybe I'll, I'll let it go in the spring, but I don't think I want to pressure wash anymore. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll just let it sit or something. Uh, I, I did use it the other day. I think this month I made like $1,400 with it. So, uh, the way I see it, I'd rather just hang on to it till it breaks 
and then not fix it and just, you know, keep making money with it, I guess. But, yeah, so just an interesting, I just wanted to let you guys know I, this this would basically be my first purchase from the, the lawn care. I mean, obviously, like, we go back home to Massachusetts, but aside from, like, a couple guns, I really own, own nothing. Um everything all my money genuinely goes to the business and just growing it or getting more equipment or you know saving too just because i don't it was just on one income and i have two kids so and i don't it's not like i make x amount every week so um yeah i do have a lot of buyer's remorse on this but everybody says like my well not everybody there's only one person i talk to and my wife says it's more than fine but uh, i'm always just gonna stress so uh, and just a, a cool, cool little bike. I know it's not like a, a big race bike or anything, but, um, you know, it's nice. Got a nice, nice skid plate or, you know, just a, just a cool little dirt bike. Brand new, brand new tires from the looks of it. He said these were, these were just put on a little while ago. And I guess he respoked a rim or something. I, I think he respoked the front rim, he said. I had the forks rebuilt recently. I mean... I have no reason not to believe them. Everything's super clean. This looks brand new. Um, overall, the bike does look really clean and good. I'm sure he put new plastics on it at some point, and uh, you know, added a bunch of a bunch of stickers. B Rose. Okay. Yeah, we'll just keep that sticker on for now until I can get that off, and. Uh, yeah, just a just a cool bike. I'm sure. I don't know. Maybe one of his his kids raced it or, or something. I don't know. But overall, pretty happy with the purchase. So uh, hope you guys are doing just as well too. So catch you at the next one.